from borderwork.com and today we'll be doing a review and actually installation of the uh, Kingston um, DDR3 6600 um, megahertz uh, laptop uh, uh, memory this is the HyperX memory uh, we have our Dell laptop here now this is the HyperX you can see it's got the cooling there so you can actually do some um, overclocking with this this also can down clock to 1300 uh, megahertz uh, uh, 1333 megahertz so you actually you your system can automatically do that for you and the memory is capable of doing that also so let's take a look at our memory chip here pull this out see it's got your heat sink on both sides very nice has a HyperX logo it also says uh, Ford warranty Kingston PMP all the technical info in there so we have both of that there uh, let's just keep that aside for a second. Now here we have our uh, Dell uh, laptop. This is an X, this is a Dell Studio 1458. Uh, uses the same memory. Also, always make sure you check your memory matches before you purchase any uh, memory piece. Look for the memory. You can use Crucial.com to find out what kind of memory you have and what upgrade you need. And we're going to flip this over and um, install our memory. Use my flathead to take that out. So there we have it. All right. So you see our memory compartment here. Uh, let's slide that a little bit. Tilt this a little more here, so you guys can get a better in-depth look. Got some Kingston memory. This is just standard memory here. System is running slow, especially editing videos on the go. You can see here. This is uh, same memory style. PC3 10600S. Let's go ahead, change this, pick this up, slide that in here. And slide that in here. But to mention you do have some uh, reading material from Kingston. Warranty information, so on and so forth, English and Thailand. It's basically just warranty info. So uh, just to note, your memory will be, because of the heat sink, this will be a little thicker. And so depending on how your thing is cased, it might be harder to fit in some. Let's slide this back. Let's close that up. Drop our screws in place. Oh, our favorite. Make sure it's all fastened uh, properly and tight. You don't want dust getting in there. You don't want things to fall out loose. You want to make sure that everything fits properly while you're doing this. And uh, yeah. So all we have to do now is just turn on the system and uh, make sure everything works properly. And we should be good to go. All right, so we're gonna zoom out. Okay, take this, flip it over. Take our screws off the table. Take our old memory. Oops, keep that aside. Open our system up. So you can see me there, turn this on. All right. PC started. Let's do its properties here, computer, and we can show you what we have. Eight gigabytes of memory right there. Done. Uh, zoom in there a little closer so you guys can see that. And here we have it. Simple. And now we can 
run things faster. Um, open application is much quicker. Press fashion. See how well it performs. We have a couple applications open. Let's see, so we have two labor intensive applications we open with uh, Photo Director and Power Director, which use the idle of memory and RAM. I have two browsers open quickly, and so far, so good. Um, seems to be opening up well. Of course, you know, you see more of this, especially when you are, like in my case, editing video, uh, pushing 1080p content, doing a lot of multitasking, that's where your memory will come to play. Especially um, with the heat sink here with the HyperX, you get better efficiency, cools down better, more efficient, um, also reduces less heat on your system. So uh, that's pretty much it. And if you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. It's all border work with two O's, as well as board fam and her channel. So this is Thundee saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.